Bruce Loxton from Safari here and we're here today to have a look at our automation RV and what we've got set up on the demonstration board back here are three secure wireless mesh controllers underneath each one of these black plastic covers is a controller um, a board with plug connected uh, looms that go into it and uh, fuses in there for each of the circuits this one here is doing slide outs, steps, uh, awnings, this one here is doing pumps and uh, uh, higher current devices and this one here is doing LED lights. Uh, there's a patent on these and for the demonstration we have uh, small sections of LED on the board here which we're going to demonstrate. Uh, we've got here a, a four switch controller with a glass front. Slide the finger up and down to adjust the uh, intensity of the LED which we'll demonstrate soon. Uh, this device here is sending out a signal to the air conditioner um, to adjust the, the uh, temperature in the room. Um, we've got over here a uh, portable speaker, but it's connected to a Google Chrome device here that's on the Wi-Fi, the same Wi-Fi network. And here is a remote uh, controller that can be taken over the fire. It's got a range of 50 meters, and uh, we've got eight selected buttons on there. Um, the Cymarine display here is showing the battery condition and the current. We're at 68%. Um, we've got our tank displays here. Uh, temperature, it's pretty warm, 23.5 degrees here. And then we've got our pitch and roll from this inclimiter. So as I turn this and go up and down, you can see we're getting the pitch and roll. This is actually from an aircraft and um, it actually shows now how level the table is that I'm doing the demonstration on. So let's go back to our opening display here which is showing that our battery capacity is 83 percent and we've got four hours and 46 minutes in terms of time to go but let's just do a very simple thing you go into the RV and we want to turn a light on and here's the light coming on down here and I just turn it off now this light switch here that's connected through the controller for the light does not need any internet and doesn't even need a controller um, it has a fixed what's called association with this device and we'll always turn that light on when that button's pressed. And then the bottom one starts up. I turn that one on, it turns on uh, those lights down there. Now one thing you'll notice here is that the colour temperature of the lights is a little bit different. And now let's go to our app. And on the app here we can see that these two lights here are shown over here. I'm just going to turn these off for a minute. And this one here, uh, let's turn that one off as well for a minute, which is the bottom one here. Uh, let's turn it back on again and what I can do on this one when I press this is increase the intensity of the light and I can also change the color of the light so I can change that if I wish to uh, sky blue at the end of the, the night after, uh, after you've done all the cooking you can set the outside lights to that color if you wish um, and then I can turn that one off. Um, the awning lights that are back here if I turn this awning light on um, which comes on um, over there, I can adjust on this one the intensity of that light by just uh, touching on that line. And I can turn it off. And you'll see the icons here change. Over here we've got the kitchen light that's come on. Again, I can change the intensity of the light um, and set it to whatever I want. Now, if um, all the lights come on, um, then we have an app here that when you want to go, you want to turn all the lights off. So we just switch off here and um, all the lights will go off. Uh, this setup here on the air conditioner, which is uh, talking to this device, which in turn is using uh, infrared to talk to the air conditioner inside the RV. Uh, we can see at the moment I've got the temperature in here according to that is 23 degrees. Um, it's currently off. To turn it on, I go, um, I touch the, the off button here. I can go auto, cool, heat, and um, after I select that, or if I put on auto, I can then change the set point. The set point at the top there is currently set at 25 degrees C, and I can just change this wheel here and move my finger around and say we want a set point there of 18.4 um, degrees C now. Um, and that's how that one works, and now we're showing it up there. Um, the voice control on here um, is quite good. Let me turn this off. Turn on kitchen light. You can see now with the voice control the kitchen light has come on. Let's turn it off. 
Turn off kitchen light. Um, there's a voice help button here which will give you the um, simple commands turn on, turn off, activate. Now let's say we're over by the fire and um, we've got this in our pocket. Uh, this can also go over to the fire, uh, but this one here can go to the fire. And if I turn this one on here, one press of the button, then currently this is programmed to turn the outside light on full intensity yellow so that there's no insects. Um, and uh, there are actually eight buttons there and they can have uh, other purposes. Um, let's now turn that one off. And I've got the water pump down here now that, um, that I turned on before. I don't have a pump connected. Um, hot water system here, turn on. Um, says here, launching hot water system, turn on. Uh, multimedia turn on is just a simple um, activate uh, whatever multimedia that you want to do. And then for the blinds, um, up and down, I press up. You'll see that they're opening. It's opening the awning blinds now, and they will open until they reach a stop. Um, all pretty straightforward from the app here. And then we're back at the switch here. The switch here could do the awning blinds. Um, now, now, just a little recap on the um, app here and uh, with this uh, close-up. It's on the front page here, we've got the RV manufacturer um, opening page, logo, touch it, phone number to call the RV company for service pops up. On the second page here, we've got uh, lights, we've got the voice activation. Let's just have a, now that we're looking at the detail here, look at the lights. So I can turn this awning light on and just touch that, you would have seen it came on in the background there. I can change the intensity of it here. Uh, likewise with this uh, kitchen light, you'll see it coming on behind the, uh, cam uh, behind the phone here. Uh, turning the kitchen light on, uh, turn that one off. And then where you've got a coloured light, which is the barbecue light outside, uh, not only can we turn it on here uh, by just pressing on, and then once it's on, if we want to change the colour of the barbecue light, it's currently set on yellow, no insects. If we want to change that um, after um, sunset, we can change it to a sky blue while the stars are out. And you can see here the small colour here has changed to blue. So let's just turn that off. This uh, image here keeps changing. Uh, we've got the awning going in and out here. Voice control, turn the pump on and off. Um, all lights can be turned off here. All lights can be turned on. Air conditioner control, multimedia. Um, I've got a voice help uh, uh, button here. And then we've got the Cymarine system, which is sitting behind here. And what happens on uh, this system here is uh, we just go straight in and have a look at the details on the system. And what we've got coming up here is um, exactly the same as what's behind in the, in the display here. So we've currently got uh, the battery condition. We've got some uh, um, current loads uh, that are being shown here. The water tanks, uh, two fresh water tanks, grey water tank, both the litres and the percent, and uh, temperatures. Um, there's a barometer here on what's happening in the local weather. You can see it's falling. And then we've got the inclimiter here that when I turn this, um, you can see whether you're exactly level in camp or not based on the, um, on the uh, angles. Um, there are alarms on each of these, and this will actually turn red, come up into the alarm, and come straight up into the system. The next display we have here is a uh, multimedia player that's uh, built in, um, and this will actually cast it into uh, the speaker. I've got a demonstration speaker here. I'm going to keep that for another uh, video. And an awning cam, and that's just a shot I took earlier this morning, and the awning cam sitting outside is also going to be another complete video to show you how we can bring it in. And the awning cam can actually trigger an alert bring it into the phone or actually bring it straight up onto your TV screen into the RV. Um, and then after that we've got the weather. Now this screen on we need the internet. The weather's at the current location. It uses the GPS and uh, this is no normal weather forecast for just a few days out. We're actually going out uh, two weeks here. So we have two weeks out ahead uh, which is giving you an idea of uh, heavy rain here and the temperature um, band that we can see. Uh, then I've got wiki camps down here and the fuel map. Now these are user selectable on what we have on this display and we can have several of them. 
but uh, clicking this one will take me straight into Wikicamps. This one's straight into the fuel map. Um, I've got here down the bottom here the uh, uh, the uh, Shell at Fitzroy Crossing uh, with the prices of yesterday. So you can look ahead and see what the prices are of the fuel where you're going. And then I've got Wikicamps here in one of my favourites, Honeymoon Bay over in WA. This needs the internet. Uh, this also needs the internet, so for the RV company, press on this. It takes you straight to the Facebook page for them, and you can post your adventure on their Facebook page. If you're in need of tyres, touch this one here. Have tyres shipped anywhere in Australia, or you can at least check the pricing with, uh, with uh, local suppliers. Um, and then after that, we have our app with our uh, university page on it. So there are, all together here... Uh, uh, six pages that do not need the internet, not connected at all. And then after that, we can have any number of pages that are connected to the internet. And while we're doing the close-up displays, let's have a look at this uh, glass switch here, four-segment switch that we've got here. It's got both uh, haptic feedback, so you can feel it on your finger, hear it, and actually see it as well. Uh, you, see, you can see the light behind here. When I turn this on and off, it's turning that light on and off behind there. Uh, but the nice thing about this switch here is as I hold my finger and move it up the switch um, I can change either the colour or the intensity. So right now I've changed the intensity of the light. You can see it's going up and down there. And I can also um, just simply press it on and off. Now this controller here is, uh, this switch is connected to the controller here. Uh, without the internet, without a hub, without anything. It's actually directly linked on a secure wireless mesh. Um, they are meshed together, can't be disturbed from a security point of view, you can't have someone else with a remote control coming along and disturbing it. This is on an entirely different frequency to your phone and to garage door remote controllers and other type of remote controllers you buy off the street. This is a government approved specific uh, frequency that these are on. Thank <laughs> you.